We're up. The Fairland Dragons come, want to spoil Fairland's. Uh, I think I saw Josh Ross around here somewhere. Josh is down there. And uh, Catherine Swalski. So they're going to be in here tonight. And this is what, Coach, this is what this is all about, getting these kids involved. Go, and we're ready. Uh, Alec, can you get us a game sponsor up there tonight? Let's go through that real quick. Be slow loading, folks. We don't know. You all total sit was kind of a pregame show. So let's see if we can get it to load. But if he is, you can get a hold of them at 886-5555. And our graphic's not loading, but. Dragons yeah. taking the field is uh, around number 20, I think, anywhere from Columbus. Are we on or not? Get ready, set the tee down on the 40. Can you talk about a kid that's Doug, are we on YouTube? Okay, he says we're there, Alex. So. Okay, uh, you talking about a kid. Okay, he says we're there, Alex. So. Okay, uh, you talking about a kid that's happy. Doesn't he? Yes, he does. Jacob Harris is the quarterback. That tailback was number 14, Philip Thacker on the carry. This time they're going to come out and uh, double wing again. Tackle, and he's not going to get much. He might have got one. That's going to bring up third down and six for the Panthers. And Coach, that was a nice little led up with the fullback. Is that Maynard on the carry? Yeah, he told us that they're going to run the power and the superpower. To the right. Trips right. They're going to roll out to the right. He's looking, looking. Coach, he didn't have a choice here. He's got a punt. There they go. There goes the punt team. And Bryson Hunt. There's the snap. And there's the kick. It lands at about the 50. Christian Collins over here. Long step back, they hand uh, Quentin Cremains, Quentin the Train, Panthers. And Quentin is just mowing them over. Another We're having some issues here. We're not going to be able to load any, doesn't look like we'll be able to load any ads or anything, so we'll just have to do them. Uh, okay. Jack Hayden replaces Quentin Cremains. He's got the first down. He's run out of bounds by Ethan Kearns. Down inside the red zone. At the 21 yard line. Make it 22. First. Hand to Jack Hayden again. He tries to get outside again, and he's knocked out. It's five scoring up third down and two for the Dragons. Oh, what, six, seven, eight times in a row, and this time Jackson. Okay. Okay, on to kick the extra point. Seconds. Wow. Our internet connection is not very good. Dragons got a three on that drive for the early lead. There's Miller's kickoff. It's going to be uh, two backs in the backfield this time. So they're going to send uh, C.J. Graham in for Jack. Three. And they're going to give to Hayden. Hayden oh. is brought down by number 14. Ah, uh, good guy, good possibility. And Jackson dropping. He's oh, that was number 10. Oh, that was Hunt. There's a snap, kick, up, and it looks good. And it is good. The Dragons put They only got, uh, I think the ball was. They didn't get a whole lot. Express oil change. 
and Baptist Football. Church. Tracy Bunch, Tracy Bunch Realty, Wiley Travel, Gabe's Marshall Sports Medicine Institute, Hosier Clinic of Proctorville, Debbie Reynolds with the with Bunch Realty, and we'll stop there and we'll get to rest here in a minute. Off for the third time here in the first quarter. Dragons leading 10 0. Back deep. Number 20. Oh, Eddie nice Maynard. kick. Oh, another one goes. He's kicked off this year. That was one of those uh, NFL. Take it at the 25. And has really, really improved Man, as the year's gone. His, you his gotta... leg strength is just unbelievable. The kid, pig skin. Yes, he has really done a great job. All right. Panthers come out and wing. And they're going to run a little flea flicker action. And not. Right, folks, our. Doesn't look like our. Uh, Harris drops it. And Shockley gets on it quickly. That's back to punt number three. There's the snap. He bobbled it. And almost blocked. Kick is. 5.21 to go here in the first quarter. Offset to the right, Quentin Cremains. Jackson in the shotgun. He takes a snap. He looks. Play there for number 58. 58 jumps straight up in the air. And that's Spencer Wright. Andrew Daniels. And that's going to give Chesapeake. The ball in Fairland territory at the 44. Twins to the left. They hand the shock. Is brought down after about a three-yard gain. For the Panthers. Double wing. Four. Tail back up the middle. I believe this is four down territory for Coach Nip. I would think. Yeah, got the very end of it. Chesapeake with their initial first down of the game. 345 on a running clock. A little trap play, Coach. Chesapeake. They need about a half a yard here, Coach, for the first down. 221. Two receivers left. And they're going to hand to Shockley again. Three or four yard gain. Let's give him four. Be at the 18 yard line into the red zone. Panthers looking for an answer. Number 57, Ryan Dixon. There we Nine. go. Wing. You're going to move the tail back over. You're going to run that. No power. And he's not. About two, I think. Don't let it over. run. He's going to let it run out. That's 30. That's going to be the end of the first quarter, and your Dragons lead coming up. Let's see they got. We're going to, we're going to run Go. through these sponsors since we can't show them. And then we're going, to, we're going to do a trivia. Candidate, Flint and Associates, Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, Morris Auto Clinic, Romeo's Pizza, East Solutions, Camden Corner, Bragg's Paint and Body. We've also got Jeff Adkins Painting. Uh, i got to tell this about them. The Selick Family McDonald's restaurants are always the best about supporting our communities. They are family owned. To the left, Shockley on the right side. Oh, and there's movement. That's oh, that was costly. Big penalty. So here's what I'm going to tell you, Coach. You remember how Coach Jack? There he goes. And now he's stinking. And that he had it by Harris, quarterback. Now Mason Giles, I think, is the one that made the or made the. Uh, see the one that made the catch right there. I think it was. You're right. He comes out. Like they're in the double wing again. Uh, it's going to be the trips to the left. 
tight trips. I'm gonna look for his knees here. So whatever. Okay, Chesapeake comes out. That, not that particular one. But you're gonna talk about flood formation, Coach. Same yeah. formation they run that flood pass out of. Let's see if he rolls to yep. the left. Here we go. And go at the five yard line. Coach Jack needs some pressure, and there's Quint Cremains, and there's a touchdown pass. Yeah, that should have been a touch. But here it is again. Take a look. Looks like look. that ball's right on the goal he's line. A, he's in the end zone. I just. Dragons have come out in the shadow of their own end zone. Ball resting at the one. No. Hello. Field, son, and there's a safety. And Dragons will be kicking off from the 20. They can either kick off, do the best, but coach, it should. All right, Coach, I guess I could have given us a question, but. Wow. My brother sent me, he said, uh, you're on for 10 seconds and off for four. On territory at the 45-yard line. Panthers playing inspired football right now. There's a snap. Handoff goes to Shockley again, and we got flags on the play. Motion. Oh, well, you're talking about shout-outs. Let's do this real quick. Lonnie Watts is in a crew <laughs> or down camping. I think he said Carter Cave. So, Lonnie, out to you. I'm sure Steve Rutherford's down there and all the whole, whole the rest of them. So Don't forget Trish. Trish. I, 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 I <laughs> wasn't going to. <laughs> Met in there by – oh, boom. And coach, that's a, still a little trap. They're pulling – I don't know if we can watch it now. Uh, he was the one trapping there just a minute ago. All right. We're going to run the jet sweep to Maynard. Oh. Spence. Spence. Garrett yeah. Spence. Another chest pig huddle. And uh, they're marching it off right now. Tell the coach who it is. Yeah, he won't know. Coach is out there right now looking. Get in there for him. I'm going to bet you it's Danny Maynard. Yep. Yep. Yep, number 20 coming out of the game. Yeah, game like this. Quickly up under center. There's your trap Pullback. again. Oh, it's great. great Is that job. not great? And the, they're going to be forced to punt because that's on the screen, folks. But we got Carter's trivia tonight of the traveling trophy between Chesapeake and Fairland. Is it? It's in Hunt. It is. Yes, and he got about 13 on the play. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's Christian, Christian Collins. Collins. He's inside the 10. Let's see what Aiden Miller does here. Kick is up, and it's good. 6.48. The Steve Lambert helmet. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to say. And, you know, uh, Mr. Smith was the principal here at the Chesapeake. Yeah, have Chris. And, you know, uh, Mr. Smith was the principal here at the Chesapeake. Yeah, I have Chris on a pregame show last week. It's on a pregame show last week. On to kick off. But he's. But he's on to kick off. But he's. But he's I'm, the thing is, he just. I mean, I'm, the thing is, he just, I mean, he's still playing. I don't know. Uh, he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second down and 10 at the, it's going to be second down and 10 at the, four, four, I think that's number three, Ethan Kearns. He's going to roll out to his left. It's just a Statue of Liberty, coach. That was, uh, yeah. He used to run that way out Rock Hill. You got to stay at home. Linebackers got to stay at home, read those keys. Uh, what are they call? Oh. What are they call? Oh. oh. You got to take this. I, I don't know what the pick. The scoreboard says fourth and 15, but it's not. It's, it's third. It's two or three on the play. Oh, you're going to lose four. Dragons are stiffened up after that safety coach. That was a good job. We need he fumbles the catch, and on the recovery is Shockley. So Chesapeake's going to get And that's number 32, Andrew Daniels. 
And he spins for the first down. He's going to pick up about four on the play. Not, no, give him. Be first down and 10 for the Panthers at the Dragon 31. A little counter. Shockley. Shockley rolls out to his right. He's looking, he's looking to run, though. That's going to be a horse collar. Well, that's going to cost them half the dip. Yeah, that's going to take it all the way down the nine. But that was, they had a touchdown pass. They didn't call it a touchdown this time. But number 78, Ethan Stewart. Nice tackle. Eaten several weeks. Had a knee injury. 11. And they're going to run the quarterback again. Nobody out there. Somebody's going to have to get. And there's. Chop block. Take a look here, coach. Check out who. 75. Oh, no, he just tripped. Never mind. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Let's hope he's not hurt. That could be the quarterback. I think it is number two. I think he's coaching the middle school. He's going to go. Looks like he's going to go in for. He'll have to come out for at least one play, but it doesn't look. But he's not. He, he's not injured. Let's hope he's just a little bit hurt and not. At the seven yard line. Plants up. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can watch that again. I want everybody at home, he, the quarterback, that's what I said when I first saw it, and then I thought, nip, he used to run that play against us. Well, now the Panthers face fourth and tight to the right and two to the left. Shockley Maynard. And it's knocked away by Jack Hayden. Nice play. Boy, I tell you. And Hayden was there to go ahead and knock it to the ground. Think about it. It's the safety. They played inspired, but the defense of the Dragons has bent. But it hasn't broke. That's true. Quentin the train remains, and he's got five. Give him six. Here we go. Jackson looking, looking. Now he's going to roll to his right. He's going to hit Kermeen. Goes left. He's looking. Now he's going to tuck it and go. And okay. he's going to be run out of bounds at about the 28 yard. Trips to the left this time. Jackson. Going down the middle. C.J. Graham's got it. Just on the other side of the 50, and he falls down at about the 47. Yep, you're right. Boy, that negates a nice pass and a catch. A nice catch, yes. Good job, C.J. Graham. Yard line brings up second down and nine. He's got, oh, that one. Uh, Bryson Hunt, and that would have been good enough for first down. And nine. Oh my. Trips to the right. One receiver left. Jackson rolls out right, and he's got Christian Collins for the first. Down and he's going down at about the 35. Quickly back on the ball, coach. Oh, yeah. Right, they're going to place it at trips right. Jackson takes a snap. He's looking, looking. Now he's going to throw it over the middle there. Probably get a timeout Hunt. right here. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. They got. Uh, two left. Uh, Dirk. This time Jackson looking. And this time he's got Christian Collins again. Jackson takes a snap. He's looking along. Over the outstretched hands of Christian Collins, and that's going to stop the clock. Looking down in 10. And Coach, you had C.J. Graham up the left hash wide open. That's another one that I'm impressed with. Trips to the right. Takes a 
snap, drop straight back. Now he's being flushed out of the pocket. He's looking, now he's gonna keep it. He's gonna run out of bounds, receiver left, Jackson.
half time half time uh, a couple of dragon turnovers have kind of kept it close Joey Hamlin, the dragon, dragon slayer. slayer. That's what he calls himself. I, I, I just I just got to do a trivia. Man, we've only done uh, one. I know. Let's get a trivia in here real quick. Question number two, sponsored by Panthers and the Dragons. Is it 32, 39, and one in favor of Fairland? Yeah. Oh man, chest peak. I'll go with that one. Well. Probably Actually, won't. you're probably not going to believe this, but peaked in my senior year, yeah. Brent Snyder or Brent uh, Mayo scored the only touchdown in the game, and I think we beat him six nothing. That must have been my junior year. Fifty-one or 1950. Uh, I'm going to say 52. You uh, anyway? Did you know that game was played at the old community center down in Chesapeake, back Is in that, that field back right? there? Yes. Right. That um. Oh man! Man, come on! Let's get I'm them get them wheels a turning. Fifty-nine. So I'm gonna say fifty-seven. It's actually nineteen forty. And the score was thirty-nine to nothing, and Chesapeake got the win. Guess where it was also played at? The Carlson elected to defer to the second half. Back deep will be in the middle. Buffering problem you're experiencing. Uh, it's really not anything we can do. Head. Right over his head. Wow. He didn't even see the ball coming. He could have missed. Shockley might have got back on it. And Got your Blue Devils 21 to 0 at the half. There. Coach, look at the rain coming down. They've now. had some opportunities, Coach. The, they, yes, they've had some good opportunities. There's a snap. It's fumbled, and they're going to throw a pass, and it's incomplete. The punter just go ahead and throw it. Well, you know, i got a question for you, Coach. That I know it was fourth down, but they had all kinds of guys downfield. Here we go. Dragons. Twin receivers right and left. Jackson takes a snap. Give him seven. Trips left. And he's going to get the first down. He gets about five on the play. The 31, six yard line. There's a snap. Going to throw the quick hitter out here to the left. And Bryson Hunt. Around the, oh, they're going to call him out at the, and call that on Keegan Smith. Yep. Left side, he's only going to get about three on the play. Chesapeake did, Chess did a good job that time. Mm hmm snap they're gonna run the quick hitter again out here to and brings up third and nine rolls out left looking he's gonna throw it deep he's got hunt down there he's got it pending and on to kick it number that provides a little breathing room for the dragons is brought to you by Aikens Body Shop, County Road 107, Prokotumi. I don't have to go pick it up. Wow. Uh, real 10. And that was Danny. Lance is going to have to finish out. Brings up. Look at it. On here, Coach. Yep. And they're going to run the sprint out. And takes a snap, rolls left. He's looking, looking, and now he throws it. And to Shockley, and he's dropped again. That's 
Number 21, Quentin Cremain. Helps clean that up. Nice job there. <coughs> out, and that ball is knocked away there late by Jack Hayden. Nice play by Jack. All right. Same and, pass. Oh, that was intended for Shockley. Hit him right in the hands and he dropped it. Coach, that's. Bryson Hunt back deep. There's another bobble. Middle again. And it's rolling back toward the 40, and it's down there. Shockley. The Dragons will take over at the 39-yard line. All right, Coach, let me get a couple sponsors in here. Pre-game sponsors, Express Old Change and Tire Engineers, 6436 U.S. Route 60 East, Barbersville. West Virginia tires and old changes. Do some mechanical work. Play Wilkes 304-733-5200. The Dragons are going to come out in the empty back. And there's Jack Hayden, and he's got it, and he's knocked down inside the 30. Dragons went deep that time. Quick hitter and a spin by Bryson Hunt, and he's going to have another first down. You see that spin after the I believe. Isn't that Mason Giles, I think? Number 11 is... Dragons trips right. Jackson. Five for another first down. It's going to be first and goal to three for the Dragons. Fire right now. He's going under center, coach. And he's going to run the sneak. Now. I mean the goal line. So it's going to bring up second down and goal at about the one foot line. Now, just let him roll out. He will get a penalty. Yeah, somebody moved. Pass. <coughs> Run the fade pattern. Perfect. Bryson Hunt. I don't know. I'm going to also uh, talk about his staff here in a minute. Well, we haven't recognized those guys, and we need to do that. One, two, two. And Guru at it again. That was number. Danny May. I don't know. Guru took him down. Well, though. the thing about it is, I think you get two uh, unsportsmanlike, you reject it. And they're going to hand to Shockley. Yeah, and you have movement. Have yeah, we're nice and dry. Thank you, Doug. They're going to run a little toss, and that's Shockley again. He's going to get. Nah, let's going give him three on the play. Brings up second down at 12. This time they hand. We're going to get one. Boy, there's a host of dragons there. Yep. Coach, I'm glad we're. And they're going to roll out right. That's going to be a bring up fourth down and 25 yard line. That thing hugged the uh, uh, sideline and kept right on going straight. Letting up a little bit. It's more of a mist. I'm going to run the quick hitter out here to CJ Graham. He's got it. And he's out of bounds at, uh, he's still sidestepping him, but he's going down. At the 37 yard line, they're gonna mark him at the 30, at the 37. That's gonna bring up a first. Running clock to go here in third quarter. 
Kirk hit her again, this time to Collins. He's got some room, working his way across the field. I told you, like that one I had last night. <laughs> well, it looks hurt. exactly like it. it's in the cash. Rockwood Baptist Church, 612 Rockwood Avenue, Chesapeake. Sunday schools at 10 a.m. 37 p.m. Uh, other sponsors tonight. Tracy Bunch, with travel, another Chesapeake dra graduate there, Coach. Call mm -hmm. Steve Wiley at 304 Sports Institute, Marshall Health. 2211 Third Avenue, Huntington, West Virginia, 304-691. Guy, Coach, Tom is our trainer out there tonight. Yep. Uh, Holzer Clinic of Proctorville, 98 State. Got any health needs? All right, back to live action, Coach. All right. Dragon's going to set up trips left. He's going to get about you know, five or six on the play, Coach. That's a nice little game. Zone, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Your score, Dragons 31. West Virginia, 30 years as real estate agent. Call her at 304-417-2332. Ask for Debbie, Ashley Southern, or Jessica Grayley. Collins Career Center, 11-627 uh, states. She's licensed in Ohio and West Virginia. She's also at 8115 County Road 107 Proctor. Our school board paid for by the candidate, Flynn and Associates, Jessica and Joe Flynn, owners. They deal with commercial roofing and materials. Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, Division of Armstrong Cable. Let's thank Doug over here. He's from Armstrong. He does a great job for us. 877-277-57 for all your automotive mechanical needs, 886-2005. Uh, they pay for all of our meals at home, Coach. So <laughs> 175 County Road 411 Proctorville, 886-8100. Ask for Cheryl, and the best sandwich around is the American Sub. There you go. You heard from Snap me. through to the tackle. Trips right. Jackson takes snap. Rolls right. He's looking, looking, looking. And he's got. There it is. That's been a uh, favorite player. There's all. Your Peyton puts it right on his numbers. On for the extra point. Let me finish these sponsors now. Dag on you, Coach Harris. All right. All right. Eastman Associates, Engineering, Surveying, and Mapping, 3999-7510, County Road 107, Proctorville, and at 314 Park Avenue, Ironton. Give them a call, 886-9491. They are a member of 521 County Road 107, Proctorville. They offer basketball. Party Reynolds, get a hold of Scott, Leslie, or Luke. Thomas, you can call them at 740-451-2255. And for all you people at home, I want to tell you that uh, although you're having trouble with that, not being able to watch the entire play, you can watch the replay after Doug puts it up. There's the kick. He's taken at about the eight and dropped, but picked back up. And he's got some room, and he's all the way out to 25. Dude, put two hands on that ball. Yeah, and he went north. Let's see what happens here. Let me hit another sponsor real quick. Curry Termite and Pest Control. Two. And he is met there by number 21, Quentin Cremains, and number 57, Ryan. His man off his block, too. This guy's just. They're playing well right yeah, now. Yeah, they are. I'll give you another creative home salute at a halftime. Now we're going to send Shockley in motion. They're running the sprint out draw for good yardage. They're going to get about 33 yard line. Nice little play there, Coach. Yes, I like it. Motion. Same there. play. Same play this time, and he's got enough for the first down. That's number 14. All right, another sponsor, Cannon Corner, 3002 Piedmont Road, Hankton, West Virginia. The bakery's delicious, and their donuts. Oh, yeah. I mean, the food over is outstanding. Donut fan, so. Okay. Dropped, but Shockley got on it. That's going to lose seven for the. Panthers and bringing up third. In there. Big Ron in. Big Ron. Yeah. Number four, he's in there. Looks like Mooner 61. He's in. All right. Hey, Bragg's Paint and Body, 24 Township Road. And they're going to roll out left. Quarterback is going to keep it, and he turns it up, and he's. Oh, third and nine. Yeah, I tell you what, we're su subbing pretty, uh, Coach. Well, our down linemen are we're taking them all in and out. Receiver right, double wing. 
Oh, they had two guys in motion. That's going to cost them. Plants going to go down. Did they play? 49, County Road 12, Proctorville, 740-886-5509. Ask for Raymond. 29. Another dropped snap. Speak, call them 740-867-6245. Hair, tanning, permanent makeup, massage, microblading, lash service, clothing boutique. Live sales every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. We, we got the reserves on now, Coach. Well, All good. New line. I bet you Big Ron gets it. Nope, timeout, chest peak. I guess it's time to finish. All okay, right, Coach. Go. Diamond Design, locate 6270 County Road 107, Proctorville. Go see Creston Smith, Luke Thomas, or Evan Savage for all your home theater, home security, your smart home needs. Call them at 337-446-4601. Also tonight, our new sponsor and like them, uh, McDonald's, the Seelick Family McDonald Restaurants are in our communities here. They're in Proctorville, Chesapeake, and Iron. Well, thanks tonight. To Amber Stevenson for our order and Ob Aubrey Katz Stevenson for yeah. Peyton. Peyton's going to hand to Ryan McLean. Oh. Ryan McLean. They're on the right side. Turned it up. Dragons. Oh, big. That, nowhere to go. Tristan, uh, number 53. Plus yardage, but only a couple. He's going to bring up third down and goal at the In stand. the backfield. Christian Bumpus. So it brings up fourth down and goal at the 10. Here comes Big Ron back in. Fake the handoff and let the quarterback keep it. Big Ron is going left, and he they thought they had him, but now he's found. But you know what, Coach? I'm going to get on him this week. You want to know why? He's carrying the ball in the wrong hand. Did you see that? Grabbed him by the jersey, which yep. wasn't. Well, let's hope he's all right. But while they're doing that, Coach, it's Codgers trivia time. Yep. 1984, 1980, 1994, 2002. Hmm. Nine and one. Cole Grove uh, came here and beat us 17 14 on a Darren Morgan field goal. Tag on if you all didn't pull it out and beat Cole Grove for a three way tie. So that's a good question. They run the jet sweep to Shockley. Shockley's got the yardage for her first down. Yeah, I believe it is. Nine and one on the season with a 38 to two victory over the Panthers. He's got a black mark when it he's got a black mark when it comes to <laughs> except yeah. for Campbell Bitter. He's the offensive coordinator, Tyler Campbell's the offensive defensive line coach. Aaron Murray's gonna coach your running backs and your outside linebackers. James Ward's your Gavin Hunt is wide receivers and defensive backs. Of course Joe Lambiot, we always mention him, he's physical therapy rehab. Uh, Chase Fisher one Portsmouth six. Wow, I'm surprised at that fourth quarter. Nothing. Is it Fairland, forty nine to nothing? Is it um uh, Take a stab and say 10 for Farrell. Well, that, but now incorrect, but guess what, Coach? We just won again. So. No, I did not know that. They did. They sort of played their home games, didn't have a field. For three, that court and a uh, set of headphones. I don't know who's bringing Right here, three, that court and a uh, set of headphones. I don't know who's bringing Right here real quick. And uh, we're uh, tonight, and you guys can watch the, watch the game. Hopefully we can do that for you all. <laughs> He'll do that, no, no doubt in my mind. Right. All right, guys, we're gonna be we're gonna be here with Coach Jackson in just a minute. We got to get we got to get another microphone hooked up, and we got to get our uh, we got to get our USB hooked up. All right there, Alec, getting it good. All right, Brack. Uh, Coach Harris liked to burn us out of here a while ago. Hey. hey, Josh, take care, buddy. I will see you in a few weeks. All righty. I'll tell you what, Coach, the uh, people down here have taken pretty good care oh, of the Chesapeake. They're always good to us. Okay. Coach, we'll get you in just a second. Oh, okay. Tut, we'll get it. Thank you, sir. 
All right, good to see you. I guess we're going to be locking this place up like we normally lock everywhere up. But we won't keep you long, keep you long Coach. We know you. Yeah. We want to get you uh, celebrate with your team. Okay. Uh, I can hear yeah. him. All right, Coach, here we go. Come on in here. All right. Coach, you can't sit down. They can't see you. I got to sit down. No. Yeah, yeah sit down. Uh, you can, I'm going to stand. I'm good. I'm, you sure? Yeah, you Coach, sit down you can there. sit down there. He's got there we go. Well, they uh, – I, th I was telling Coach, I said – That ball went right on top of his head. He didn't even see I it. I know. But I that's know. okay. That's, that's called a learning – Good thing then things happen. I told him at halftime and uh, with the um, running backwards into the end zone and uh, dropping a punt. And, right. And uh, P down there, no, we got a chance for a long field goal there. He's got to get rid of that ball sooner. Boy, I know what he's thinking, but yep. he's got to be smart there. So, um, well, he was pretty much on tonight, Coach. He's well, I know it's funny, me and – I wouldn't have said this to nobody earlier, but man, it's a rain today, but we was talking in the week about a chance of rain on Friday, and we're like, it's probably a good thing. We, yeah. I thought he did, you know, he, we feel like he messed up there and he missed. Jake Graham down yeah, the left side. That one on long, we had a long switch on right there. And, uh, you know, they got that batted ball earlier and that got it, got, yeah. got him upset for a second, but strong. Put him away. Put him away, and that's what we did. So, um, yes. Coach, I felt like you did a great job setting the edge tonight. Uh, yes. We Absolutely set the post. Great. They come field what they're supposed to because they like to do that little – looks like a jet toss, but then they're going to cut up the six or right. seven hole. You know, inside it looked like he was – Oh, well. Backwards. But, I mean – You got a better angle than we do from up here. It just looked like – down. But I am happy that we got Aiden Miller field goal. How strong is he getting? Each he he and kicked every a 50 order before uh, overconfident or cocky by no means, but I have so much faith in our offense, it's hard to kick. He, we told him by playoffs. I was like, man, if you can get, because he was kicking like to the 10. Good after the catch today. I thought, you know, he got a lot of yak yards after the catch. Uh -huh. And, uh, oh, son, not east and west. But you, we, we took us game 10 to go under center, though, didn't it? Well, <laughs> we've had that in all year. Right. We just, I guess. That I puts know. him up to 31. Yeah. In record holder. Yeah, I'm uh, – You got As a coach, I'm happy because that means your team's successful. You know, a while back, he's probably thrown more balls on the Fairland field than any kid in history. Oh, I guarantee About you. all the balls, that, you know, he was there for Joel, you know what I mean, and Mike, you know what I mean. Then coach, so, three out of the top ten. Yeah, so – and what I'd get when he was when he was little, I thought the pass protection. There was one time he must have had ten seconds yeah, before he yeah. throw the ball. So yeah. I'd be but in for that. Let's go fifteen one gets us to the state championship. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, let's do fifteen one. That used to be five games. I know now I know it's six. It's like Union locals, one of them we could maybe see. Right. So we well, should you to post it so we can see what's <laughs> going on. I'll let her know. We'll, we'll be up tonight. Yeah. Although the thing about it is, when Doug puts it back up. He can smooth it out. Oh, it's like yeah, we lost sound. Well, I turned it on to watch it. I never lost sound one time. So I think the replay is going to be smooth. That's because his daddy said. I'm going to agree with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> but that boy threw that ball like that he had. He well, was hey, just spot on. Tell me about that and throw across Bryson down here in this end zone. Oh, that was it. perfect. Yeah. Did he throw that from the far hash? Yeah, the post because he loves to throw that wheel, but yeah. when he throws it like that, what, how are you going to get I mean, on to him? Well, it's perfect. <laughs> and, and the thing was, we were blocked said, right here. Yeah. And then Christian. Yeah, and then Christian with his couple moves. You could get play. Christian had two big plays after yes, the catch. You yes. know, I give him that. But, but uh, uh, for the consistent so, But, um, you know, we was linked before. I got to be your captain of your 93 team. You went 9 and 1. And now we're together in the books forever as being 9 and 1 coaches. Uh, that's right. Baby. That makes me happy. I told you that's it's what an awesome was deal. happen. When did I yeah, but I'm just that? telling you. Beginning of the season. Hey, <laughs> we got to do him one better next week. Well, and I'm just yeah. so – I told the kids that means you had a good group ahead of you and me the same way. I mean, coming Coach, my first I'm going to tell you, though, death about that. But your 
uh, program your what you had said. I ain't never seen that happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we um, but I mean, you just that's that it ain't Peyton's decision. Right? You know what I mean? Sure, it's RPO. It's, yeah, it's every one for so. I mean, that's awesome, that right there shows you that I'm. I'm just you talking about you happy for me. I'm just glad that everybody, all my coaches, bought in right. from day one and we feel. We good? Uh, boy, Nothing um, going to be on it this week? Nothing. Play Willsburg or Ty Willsburg. Oh, he has a great program. Sure. You know, and they won big. Temple Midland over Huntington High, 21 nothing at the end of the first quarter. Wow. They jumped uh, on them earlier, didn't I don't, they? I don't know what's going on. We haven't well, been the, able to get an update since. The one kid from Huntington didn't play last week. He was at the, the receiver, Wayne, Wayne Harris. Mm -hmm. Berg over Portsmouth West. I mean, we all kind of called that in the pregame. Uh, 23 16, Colgrove, or Rock Hills over Colgrove. Wow. And 28. I'm here and see what up with Joe Edel, but uh, I'll probably know, like I said, about one. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Well, guys, I'm Congratulations. We'll do it next week in the playoffs. Congratulations. We'll right. that, that's our plan. Right. right. Well, he, I, he may not be. I there. mean, no, wait a minute. It's Miss Montgomery's birthday yesterday, and I really need to wish her a happy birthday. Uh, but she went to a concert tonight, but we're supposed to go to a concert next week, and I already had that planned, so. I don't know, but Dragons are better show than well, a concert. We they? have a chance. <laughs> right? I thought they moved them all to Friday. They're all Friday. Yeah. All the right. first, yeah, they're all Friday now. All righty. Okay, we're going to make that uh, a wrap this yeah. evening. Dragons 38, Chesapeake 2, and the Dragons finish the season at 9-1, and one, and we'll be home the next Two games. Absolutely. Doug Norris, I mean, Doug Norse. has done an absolute great job for us. Doug. See you. Guys, this is Alex Cyrus. He has done, pro he's there, produced. Come get on. Tell me you're not get in here. Catherine Swalski has been helping. Doug, come on, get your picture in here. You Don't sit back there and hide. Coach, 